welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello i'm pauline i upload bag videos or traveling videos on my channel i try to interchange both of them so it's not too boring but anyways if you're interested in handbags and traveling then please subscribe to my channel and today we're going to talk about a handbag so without further ado let's go Okay, so for today, I want to share with you all this baby. So this one is the Burberry TV bag. I showed it to you um, on my previous video, what I got on my birthday. And this one, I'm a big fan of Burberry. It's one of my favorite brands. And I know that a lot of people don't actually see Burberry when it comes to their bags. It's not on the radar. But I think thanks to this bag, when they release it, it's like... You know, like they're not just scarves and trench coats now. They also have a good bag in the market. So I'm very happy that they released this. And I was like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this bag is so pretty. Now, I got this one in the pebbled, um, textured, grained leather. There are two options. You can get it in smooth leather or this one where it's grainy. I didn't want to get it in smooth leather because I am... I think it's just too sensitive and I would have to baby the bag like what if I scratch it or anything and that's just not gonna work with my lifestyle I just want to use this as much as I can right so this one is in the gold hardware that's the new logo of Burberry TV to pay homage to their founder Thomas Burberry it is in the accordion style two major compartments now this is not the large size this is just a regular size it does not have any back pocket and this is the other side so it is the accordion again it kind of looks like my gucci interlocking um i know they look alike but i think i'm just i'm just drawn i tend to gravitate towards the flap accordion and just the logo bags because i feel like they're very classic even if they don't produce them anymore i just feel like it's a safe choice for me i think as an investment for a bag but anyways here you go and to open this all you have to do is see you just do that and the flap opens now you put the strap here you just loop it here comes with the removable and adjustable strap it's also quite generous it's very long so you can adjust it depending on your body type and height so let me show you Oops. I'm very happy that I got this. I don't see a lot of videos online about it, so it's still quite unique. I'm guessing because Burberry is really not the type of, uh, not so much, it's not a lot of people actually like it when it comes to the bags. They prefer the trench coats and stuff, but yeah, anyways. I usually put the lock at the very end, so I can use it as a crossbody as well. It works. And what I like about this is they also have this separate strap so that it doesn't get twirly after a while. Um, that's a lot of complaints that I notice about the Gucci Soho that it doesn't have this. Anyways, so that's the strap. I can use it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag like this. And you just loop it here inside. So. I still have the stuffings, as you all know. It has two major compartments. It's quite dark. The lining is in full leather. So this is the smooth leather, as in, I mean, you can see. I don't know if you can see the scratches, but that's it. If I bought this bag in smooth leather, then I don't think it's going to age well because this one is already, I can already see scratches, but that's the inside. I don't mind. But if it's an outside, then no. So, two major compartments. Now, if you buy the green leather, it only has two compartments and one zip compartment here. If you buy the smooth one, there's also an extra pocket in front. That's what I noticed. The price is the same when it comes to the green and um, smooth leather. But the smooth leather has an extra pocket in front. I'll show you a picture right here. But anyways, I don't mind. I prefer the grain, tech, uh, grain leather, textured leather. So 
it's durable. Now, I don't put something at the back, at the zip pocket, except for this. This is the tag. And also the authenticity card. So, here you go. Now, just a bit of trivia. So, this bag was designed by Ricardo Tisky. He used to be the creative director of Givenchy. He was the, the guy behind Antigona and Pandora, according to my research, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so now he's the new creative director of um, Burberry. And first thing he's done was the logo and also this bag. So I think that was a good choice because Honestly, Burberry is not popular when it comes to bag. Like I said a while ago, it's always just scarves and um, trench coat. And this bag put them in a lot of people's wish list and radar, which is good for them. Okay. Anyways, let's go with the pros and cons. So let's go with the pros first. Now, this bag, it's very sleek. It's simple, but very stylish, I think, because it's... The simplicity speaks volume, you know? It's just gold hardware, the logo, and that's pretty much it. But I still like it pretty much. And quite unique, like I said. Um, not a lot of people hmm, buy Burberry bags. So it's still quite nice to have a unique bag. Yeah. Um, so it only has two major compartments, but it's quite spacious. I mean, comparing to the Gucci interlocking, GG, um, this one is really way bigger than that one. So that's why I think it's quite spacious. And it's, I think it's hassle-free because you just have to put the flap there and it closes. No problem. With the Gucci, I have to check that this part gets into the hole so it closes. But this one, it's much easier to use than the other one. And what else? It is... I like the leather. I have one more um, Burberry bag. And it's held up really, really, really nicely. I've had it for a few years now. Three, four. I think four or five years. And it's perfect. And this one, um, because it's the textured grain leather, it's very durable. That's what I like about this. It's just durable. So if... The thing is, like a lot of people say that this kind of looks like the Celine box bag in the smooth leather. But if you're very careful and you really want to try that one, then sure. But my only advice is that it would get scratched. And so if you want the bag to last longer, then probably get this one because it's more durable than that one. And, hmm. Well, the bag, the bag itself, especially the inside, and you just, you just feel that it's very buttery and very, like, very quality leather. And it smells so nice. <laughs> I like to smell my bags like and fill them and this one is really 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 nice. And what else? I'm checking my notes right now. Well like I said this one brought Burberry's name into the bag collector's world. It's it's very like a good idea to release something new and uh, how would I say it's like they're finding their identity but at the same time this one was a good hit for me. It's just good not like an it bag that would disappear quickly so that's that's just good because the thing is that once the bag becomes an it bag for that year it's hard to buy it for the next few years because people would see it like oh that's very 2018 like i i like that this bag did not became did not become a big it bag because i don't want it to just like okay lose its value immediately and a lot of people would say like oh that's so 2019 that's so not in anymore so yeah anyways um and this one is not heavy at all even though it's full full leather so outside it's leather and the lining is leather it's not heavy and even if i put the things inside it's still not heavy so i like that one because i don't like heavy bags who wants to 
to use a heavy bag that's super uncomfortable right okay so those are my pros let's go with the cons and my main con would definitely be the strap the other Burberry bag that I have the strap the glazing is very substantial this one is just too thin it doesn't feel as durable I mean of course it comes as a set the bag itself is super nice just the strap I wish it's wider or thicker or yeah the glazing is perfect though it's not as if it's uneven but I just feel like it's less substantial for a bag in this at this price and also the bag itself is super nice and buttery and substantial but just a strap I feel like they could have made it wider or thicker that's just my main um, complaint the strap does not feel as substantial as the other as the bag well I did say that it's very light considering that the lining is full on leather but the lining is smooth leather so it gets scratch so easily um, I'll try to put a close-up if I can because it's all in black smooth leather lining but I already have so many scratches here inside I can see it when I when it hits the Sun or something but yeah because it's the smooth leather and that's one thing that I'm so thankful that I got the grade leather because the smooth leather gets scratched so quickly just so quickly that's one negative for me um, but you don't see the inside so that's okay that's just like my personal um, opinion um, this one goes with all bags with this design like my Gucci um, GG interlocking so when you have a bag that has this big metal logo it's prone to get scratched I experienced it in Gucci so this one I'm just a little bit careful at this one at this part at the logo part so it will get scratched and if you're not careful then it will get scratched <laughs> easily so that's just it if you're very picky when it comes to metal and hardware stuff so yeah just be mindful about the big metal hardware in front well like i said compared to the gucci the closing is not as difficult but sometimes of course if you're like on the go you really still have to hear the snap let me that one you have to hear that not all the time but if you're in a rush then be mindful of the closing it's not as difficult actually but when you're on the go it might not be that fast it's not really a big con but I'm just saying anyways those are my pros and cons I'll try to update you guys once I wear this bag more often but so far so far I'm really happy about this one and those are it's just some pros and cons yeah. anyways so here we go here is the inside of the bag it is really dark <laughs> and I'll try to show if you can see the scratches let me look for one here so it's very prone to scratches so I'm just saying anyway so what fits I'll just close this one because I don't put something there and usually I put of course my phone I'll put it there in front this is an iPhone um, 7 plus it's old I put sunglasses here you go I put it at the back I have a lipstick a lip balm of course I need my mask of course during this time you always need mask with you I have a tissue a pack of tissue paper um, what else compact right there and what else blotting paper because my oil my face gets oily hand cream from L'Occitane here you go and what else of course my wallet and that's what I usually bring oh I forgot I need my Claritin I always have allergies and 
that can still close Oop, no problem hmm you can see if it's a bit full that the flap goes like that but for example I take my phone out like that hmm well it still does that but it's not as bad so that's what fits inside this bag As for the size of the bag, the height is 14.5 centimeters. The length is 20.5 centimeters. The depth is 8.5 centimeters. And the weight is 640 grams. I like to mention the weight because, I don't know, for me, if the bag is too heavy, then I just don't want to get it because if I put stuff then it gets heavier then I just don't want to carry it it's just a hassle okay so that's it for today if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or video requests please comment down below and I'll check it out bye